Hey, I'm going to do my makeup uh, basket for this next week. Here's my little bag. I really loved this bag. Okay, we're going to start with primers. I'm going to leave the Smashbox sample in there because I still have not used up all the Dr. Brandt uh, pores no more yet. So, we're going to start with a primer. For foundations, I'm going to leave the Lorac Professional in there because I do want to use this up. But... I took out the Make It Forever because I don't know if you'll see this. I know you won't see this yet, but I this is the one thing that I did haul at North Park Mall. It's the MAC Studio Sculpt SPF 15 Foundation in NW20. And I really loved it up there, so I'm going to try it this week. For powder, I'm still going to be using my MAC Pro Finish and Medium. For uh, bronzer, still going to be using my Too Faced. Because uh, you see the little round? I almost I actually have used, you can, if you can see those little rounds, for it, I'm almost hitting pan. And for blushes this week, I am going to use this MAC Cream Palette of bl blushes. I'm going to use that. I took out the coral one, like the, the Maybelline highlight, and put in the pink rose. To do the double blush with okay and as for concealer i've still got the maybelline age rewind haven't got very much left of it so i should hopefully i will use it up this week and then i will continue with my mac uh pro long wear concealer in nw20 and for my eye base i'm going to continue this week go ahead and continue with this uh mac base here eye base here and then my cream, uh, Wet n Wild Cream Belay. See, I've hit pan on this one. And the Wet n Wild, the white. I uh, forget what it's, I always forget what it's called. Sugar, uh, sugar is what it's called. I like to use it on my eyebrow. And for my basis for eyeshadows, I'm going to have this, uh, Lavish Lavender. You'll see why in a minute what palette I'm going to use. And this Cool Crush, which is kind of like a different uh, tone color. I don't know if you can see it or not. I'm not for sure if you can. Anyway, it's kind of like a, a, it's just according to how the light hits it, is what color it pulls. So I'm going to use that. And like I said, you'll see in a minute when you see why, what eyeshadow palette I, uh, I'm going to use this week. And I uh, kept in the Barely Branded for any kind of brown look and the Inked in Pink for any kind of pink look. Okay, now for the eyeshadow palette. This I'm this week, I'm going to do the Diva Makeup Queen. I don't know if y'all, if y'all, any of y'all watch her. Uh, she is a YouTuber, actually, and she plays the cello professionally. But she had this, she, her, and the subscribers had this palette made. I think I showed this to you in my palettes. Well, I am going to use that this week. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, and as for the eyebrows, I'm still going to be keeping my Anastasia Brow Wiz, well, Dip Brow, Brow Wiz, and the Maybelline Definer Brow, just in case, what kind of day I'm wanting to use. And for mascara, still my Maybelline Sensational. Okay, for the lips, well, for eyeliners, I'm still going to keep in the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On in Zero for the pencil. And the Stella for the top line, if I do a top eyeliner. And now for, oh, the Anastasia Double Ended Brow Concealer Pencil. This is really, it's a really good pencil to what it, it, it really helps you conceal and uh sharpen up or whatever you want to define your brow more and then for the other eye pencil for my nyx milk always keep it in my basket the tart smooth operator for sitting under my eyes you know to help reduce the pores and now for the lips of course i'm going to keep my lip balm and my lip liners, I'm going to go ahead and keep uh, the Candy Yum Yum. 
and the citron because it's going to match with the lipsticks. I'm keeping it this way. For the lipsticks, I am doing faux. It is a real pretty, pretty mauve color, which I thought would go good with the new Milani that you've seen my when you see my Dollar Tree haul uh, color that I just got. And then this is actually the first Mac lipstick I ever bought, and it's called Chatterbox. And it is so pretty. It's like a pink, and if you know me, pink is my color. And this pink Milani uh, liquid color I got for it, and it is in fiery, fiery coral. And I'm going to go ahead and leave this soft lips <laughs> clear gloss just in case I need it. Then I'm also going to leave in my MAC Fix Plus, which I leave it over here. I don't put it in that bag laying down. And my Urban Decay Setting Spray. I always use that. That'll be in every week's bag. And that is going to be a makeup basket for this next week. It really did help me last week because I did put makeup on, like, for real one time because I went to Dallas, of course. But I put it on for two days that I didn't go anywhere. And I did feel better during the day. But then I got sick, and so then I didn't put it on. But it did work, so I am glad I'm doing this makeup basket. So thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time.